Hi friends, today we will discuss the principles of green chemistry. If you are new on our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon, never miss any updates. And if you need tutor, you can uh, uh, call us on given numbers. So let's discuss the principles of green chemistry. Paul T. Anastas and John C. Werner developed 12 principles of green chemistry which help the explain what the definition means in practice so there are the 12 principles we discuss now so first principle is the prevention prevent prevention means it is better to prevent waste than to treat or clean up waste after it has been created. Second principle is atom economy. Atom economy means synthetic methods should be designed to many maximize. Synthetic methods should be designed to maximize the incorporation of all materials used in process into the final product. Third is the less hazardous chemical synthesis. Whenever practicable synthetic methods should be designed to use and generate substances that possesses little or no toxicity to human health and environment. Four principle designing safe, safer chemicals. Designing the safer chemicals in this chemical products should be designed to affect their desired function desired function while minimizing their toxicity number five safer solvents and auxiliaries the use of auxiliary substances like solvents, separation agents, extra should be made necessary wherever possible and innocuous when used. Number six, design for energy efficiency. Energy requirements of chemical processes should be recognized for their environmental and economic impacts and should be minimized if possible synthetic methods should be conducted at ambient temperature and pressure. Number seven, use of renewable feedstock. A raw material or feedstock should be renewable rather than depleting whenever technically and economically practicable. Number eight, reduce derivatives unnecessary derivation like use of uh, uh, blocking groups protection deprotection deprotection temperature temporary modification of physical chemical processes should be minimized or avoided if possible because such steps uh, such uh, steps uh, because uh, the such steps require additional reagents and can generate waste. Number nine, catalysis. Catalytic reagents are superior to stoichiometric reagents. Uh, catalytic reagents like uh, selective as possible and uh, number 10 design for degradation design for degradation chemical products should be designed so that it so that at the end of their function they break down into innocuous degradation products and do not persist in the environment 
do not persist in the environment keep in mind a, a number 11 principle real time analysis for pollution prevention real time analysis for pollution prevention means analytical methodologies need to be further developed to allow for real time in process monitoring and control prior to the formation of hazardous substances number 11 inherent safer chemistry for accident prevention substances and form of substance used in chemical process should be chosen to minimize the potential for chemical accidents including releases explosions and fires attempts are being made not only to quantify the greenness of chemical process but also to factor in some variables such as chemical yields the price of reaction components safety in handling chemicals and hardware demands energy profile and easy of product work workup and purification green chemistry is increasingly seen as a powerful tool that uh, researchers must use to evaluate the environmental impact of uh, nanotechnology there are many academic and industrial sectors who are considering to adopt the greener and cleaner alternatives there are several applications of green chemistry and extremely broad including about every industry if you want to know the definition of chemistry green chemistry is the utilization of a set of principles that reduces or eliminates the use of generation of hazardous substances in design manufacture and application of chemical products this is an area of chemistry and chemical engineering focused on the designing of products and processes that minimize the use and generation of hazardous substances thank you very much for watching this video if you need tutor for any class for fsc metric physics chemistry math so you you can uh, contact us uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you are new on our channel please subscribe this channel for other videos thank you very much thank you so much please share it with your friends